Most of the time, security cameras capture hours and hours of useless footage. Sometimes, however, they capture something like this. Published in September of 2013, YouTuber Rainy Schooler writes, A woman walks out of the darkness on a cold and wet night, in the mountains far from a busy road and no immediate neighbors. The security camera is aimed into the wilderness and you can see a tree to the right side of the screen but nothing else. That is until, right in the middle of the shot, the figure appears, walks and stops and turns awkwardly not turning with her feet but just twisting with her upper body. Then she walks forward again before taking a sharp right turn and veering out of sight. The video moves forward about 45 seconds until the woman is seen winding around the tree and then is spotted back in the middle again, looking off into the wilderness, moving in the same strange start-stop fashion that she was doing before. A different security camera captures the woman walking up towards the house. Out of sight, it's not clear what she did alongside of the home, but she is soon seen again walking haphazardly away and around the same area near the tree in the back. She did this for 10 minutes, the video notes. Many in the comments think this woman must have been on something, but in the middle of nowhere, what do you think? I'm just glad they had security cameras so the homeowners were aware of her activities. Dogman sightings are being caught on tape more often than ever. Here are two separate dogman encounters taken by different people years apart that are remarkably similar. The first video is taken in 2015, after a neighbor noticed all the fruit had been picked from their apple and pear trees. It's late at night when this large creature with a broad face and beady white eyes comes up to the window for a closer look. It looks like the window is probably seven or eight feet from the ground. Judging from the lamp post across the way, this creature looks tall enough to reach up and pick fruit from a tree. Apparently all of the food outside has been eaten and now they're thinking about coming in. I'm surprised at the lack of detail showing because it's standing in the light, so I'm not sure if this is fake. It looks like it wants to climb in but thinks better of it and eventually walks away. Real or fake, that video looks similar to a different dogman encounter years later. In this sighting, a mysterious creature watches from a window late at night, same as before. It has beady white eyes and on its head are two pointy ears, the signature trademark of a dogman sighting. This creature looks smaller than the other one, but its behavior is the same. It stares inside for a long time and then slinks away, and based on the sound it makes, whatever this creature is, it's far from human. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious. A YouTuber named Alien6467 and a friend are heading down a long stretch of country road in Southwood, New York, when an abandoned White House on the side of the road catches their attention. Something feels odd about this house, so they decide to get out and start exploring. The first thing the two of them notice is a room with hashtag vengeance scrawled across the wall in big green letters. Under this word are dozens of bags that inexplainably contain only a single coin. After a bit of searching, they find a loose floor panel nearby and start pulling out more Ziploc bags containing single coins. The strange feeling gets even stronger after this discovery and they decide to leave. When filming the house for one last time, they see that they are no longer alone, nor were they ever to begin with. A mysterious black silhouette watches them from above without sound, but I guess it could just be a prank. I mean, they were just inside of that room, 
So maybe Alien 6467 went up there again and pretended to be a ghost for the final shot. Then again, it could even have been somebody who was squatting in the house. The coins might have been a calling card, each one representing a previous victim. Aquatic researchers are stunned to see this massive shark pass by their cameras at a depth of 3,300 feet below sea level. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Got it. Yeah. Can you, can you get him on the oh, whoa. Man, look how thick he is. He's huge. As the giant shark circumnavigates their equipment, the researchers try to estimate its measurements based on the space between the two laser dots. Will this size fall short of an adult megalodon? Some people have pointed out that this could be a juvenile. Since all scientists have to go off of is their teeth and backbone fossils, we may never know for sure. A YouTuber named Tommy Case is in the basement of an abandoned house when his flashlight crosses over someone wearing an all black and white stretched out face mask. Tommy Case runs away, but soon he has to turn his flashlight back on if he ever hopes to find the exit. Instead, he finds the same person again, but this time he manages to escape without looking back. Since the person just stands there and never reaches out for him, I think this is almost definitely a skit, but a well done one all the same. YouTuber Donna Aries has a roommate that she cannot see. Let's take a look at this mischievous poltergeist in action. Just come in, uh, just heard some at so just uh, grab my iPad to see if I see anything. And I'm sh sure I saw the cup move, so I've just grabbed me. There you go, again. Donna does a good job of reassuring viewers that this is no gimmick. Under there, that's just a bracket from an old drawer that used to be there. There's nothing in the cupboard. It's just cutlery and stuff. Nothing under there apart from pots and pans. There's no magnets. Even if the surface was wet, the way it's moving is not how an object would move across a wet surface. Underneath, there's nothing. It's just an old metal cup. And then this happens. Oh my gosh. The surface isn't wet or anything. It's all dry. So there's no reason for it to be moving. And it's moving again. The only thing I can think of to debunk this is the nearby stove. If it's an induction stove, then it uses magnetic fields to generate heat. It would follow that a metal cup nearby would be drawn if the field is strong enough. But that's just a theory, and the way the cup moves is too erratic. Do you have any ideas? Gorman Sujin is inspecting his new apartment with a camera to document any damages left from the tenants before him. He gets through all the rooms and the balcony without problem, but after reviewing the video later, he realizes that he is far from being home alone. A woman in white appears suspended in midair. I don't see a rope, but I will say she is next to the shower rod, and her feet are not touching the ground. I wouldn't be surprised if this is what became of the last person who lived here. Leaked video comes from the Kalovsky Airport in Russia. One of the planes loses all stability and wobbles unsteadily, trying its best to navigate a safe path through heavy air currents. The pilot continues to wrestle with the controls, which are becoming more unstable by the minute, and I think I see a small fire under the wheel. If he misses the runway here, there's no circling around for a second chance. The wings dip unevenly as the plane disappears behind the tree line. No one can see what is happening and they listen for the worst. A short while later, the plane miraculously emerges from behind the trees and touches down. The passengers get to live another day. Number if you plan to ghost hunt in a haunted forest, prepare to meet your doom. YouTuber Kelsey Davies and her crew encountered several paranormal events in their forest ghost hunt. First, she hears a woman's voice. I just heard a woman humming. <laughs> the 
That sounds more like a shout than a hum to me. Apparently Kelsey saw her too. She was crouched down by the creek, humming with no shoes on. As they approach the creek in question, Susie feels like she was pushed. You guys don't push me. I didn't. What? What? Someone pushed you? Stop. Oh, so where's the <laughs> I swear. Don't push me. I didn't. It was him. He's staying right here. <laughs> Did someone push Did someone Susie? Push you? Don't push me. When asked if somebody tried to push Susie into the water, the spirits have an answer for Kelsey. I heard yes, and then it said we are coming. We are. Are you guys coming? While they continue to speak through the spirit box, one of them hears the name Susie. Why? I heard Susie. I swear oh to my God, God, I really? heard Susie. <gasps> oh, is it? Yep. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It seems this spirit is out to get Susie. Right behind you, whoever. I can't even speak right now. Oh, that's it, I'm here. Yeah. That's it, I'm it here. It literally said I'm here. The spirits repeat their intentions. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, that was, we're all coming. That, was a, that literally that was like said we're all coming. Voice, that was not like a regular no, voice. That no. was like a demonic voice. That was really bad. And their thirst for Susie doesn't end there. Oh, oh my God. A Susie. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I heard that's my second time. Why do they want me so bad? I think this is a valid question. Why are the spirits coming after Susie? And did the ghost woman by the creek try and push Susie into the water? If I were her, I'd take this as a sign to get the heck out of there. Strange and mysterious sounds are coming from a hole in the ground that sounds like a hidden entrance to another world. These scary noises sound like some kind of evil ocean. It makes me wonder if water is nearby. With that said, I did notice that these strange noises were caught on camera during a windy day. So I'm hoping this is actually just wind rushing through some kind of construction tunnel for a pipe or something, and not a scary, hissing creature. This home footage was taken at the end of 2016 in rural Pennsylvania. A man grows tired of the strange noises coming from his basement and decides to investigate with a camera. According to him, it always sounds like something is running up the steps at full speed, but nothing ever comes through the door when it reaches the top. The man is confident that he will be able to scare off whatever it is that's lurking below. He opens the door and goes down the steps without a weapon. All right, here we go. Hello, I know I hear you down here. I know I heard you. Holy f Oh my f dude! I just saw it. Holy f man. Instead of running away, he chases after the shadowy figure. The camera pans around the basement only to reveal that he is now alone. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to have someone dressed in all black and peek around a corner, so this video could be fake. Then again, this video could be genuine evidence of an actual shadow person. As for the original uploader, he says that he and his family no longer feel safe in their home. They're now looking to move someplace else. Imagine running into this creature in a dark rainforest at night. YouTuber Only Menopore Collection Sap posted this creepy video in July of 2019, adorned in white with pale skin and black hair. This forest dweller is the thing of horror movies. One of the brave men approaches it, his hand upheld in full view in an attempt to pacify the figure. As he closes in on her, the figure just stands, its head wagging side to side slightly. Then suddenly it sinks to the ground, vanishing from view. Later in the video, they come across some other forest being. This one dressed in white. Again, the man approaches it as it stands in place. Then it too vanishes from view. What are these ghouls of the forest? Are they good or evil? And what is their motive? These are questions better left unanswered. This video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. 
Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. Can you make sure that's zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. I want you to see that. Look, you missed look it. Look at that. Oh, good, good job. Buddy. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting... Yes, Yes, oh. there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. When four teens disappeared in August of 2008 in Melbourne, Australia, a local search party discovered this found footage in November of the same year, near an abandoned hospital. Shortly after, it apparently began making rounds on Australian news outlets. At the start of the video, the boys appear to be cruising down a highway, then further down a dirt road. At one point, they exit the vehicle, and they think they hear a sound coming from the darkness. In that area, they saw sounds coming. They approach a gate with a sign that says private property, no trespassing. They ignore it. They find a hole in the fence and decide to enter anyway. As they're walking along in the dark, they come across a red substance splattered on the ground. Regardless, they continue on, and that's where the footage ends. A walk into the darkness. They were never seen or heard from again. If you have any info on their whereabouts, please visit missingpersons.gov.au. Two siblings go into their room after hearing a small, unrecognizable voice call to them. In their toy trunk, they discover a bizarre-looking doll that neither of them can remember putting in there. The doll remains silent until one of them goes to grab it. <laughs> it's really creepy. They aren't sure what to make of the toy at this point, but look what happens when they have a discussion while still in its presence. Look at its little skinny legs. <laughs> that thing is like... I know. Disturbing. It almost seems to respond to a comment about its legs by kicking twice and laughing. It's as if the toy knows what they are saying and is trying to play with their mind. Tell me whether or not you think that this could be an early warning sign of a poltergeist in their home. Years ago, I analyzed a video of a giant humanoid creature seen roaming the desert in Portugal. While new evidence of the creature is making fresh rounds on the internet, and this photograph supposedly shows what it eats, which unfortunately is us. A strong looking man with a crew cut and fatigues is no match against this creature. As it pulls him towards its open maw, he is not wearing civilian clothing. If anything, his outfit matches those worn at the special ops base where the original video was taken. All of the finer details of the creature seem to match as well. The dramatic bend of the back leg compared to the more developed upper arms, its cone-like head, its unnatural slouch are all there. And according to this picture, it's apparently a cyclops creature as well. Of course, there's a good chance that this is photoshopped. If it was real, I think that there would be an accompanying video or at least more than one picture. If anything, for the sake of the person about to be devoured, I really hope this isn't real. Would you have the courage to enter a home in which a horrific event took place? That's how the police described this poor lady's passing. Published in January of 2022, the Ouija brothers head inside one of England's most haunted abandoned homes in which a woman is said to have had her life taken. Using a device to speak with the spirit, the guys ask what her name is. Her answer gives me chills. Could you tell us your name? Blood. Blood? Blood. Blood then. It's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? <laughs> Remember that like that lady? Yes, blood. <laughs> um, then, as a cameraman is backing out of a room, they capture a strange hissing noise. Oh, yeah. oh, oh f I ain't going in there, man, because that'll make me all for days. 
Later, they're in another room when out the door, they see a light, it starts getting brighter, and then they hear something clatter. Look, 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 Miles, can you see it getting brighter? It is. Oh. Is this the ghost of the woman whose life was taken in this home? Or as Suze suggests in the comments, did the events of this poor lady's life imprint on the house? Fallon Taylor is a YouTuber who got the scare of a lifetime while competitively riding. She has almost finished a timed run when a surprised audience member points to something off camera. Less than four seconds later, a huge white bull breaks free from its pen and nearly collides with Fallon Taylor and her horse. Watch again and you'll see how close Fallon comes to getting knocked clean off. She barely dodges the bull by a few feet and makes it back to the safety of the horse pen. At first, I thought the perspective made the event look exaggerated, but Fallon later says she had to put her arm out and could almost touch the bull. I definitely believe her, but I'd like to know how close you thought the bull was when you first saw this video. A South Korean ghost hunter named Tosachi is exploring a haunted house where seven people met a fateful end, including a husband and wife. The inside is weird and creepy in his words, and give the paranormal investigator goosebumps to explore. He knows that multiple spirits are close, he can sense them, and then one of them gets his attention. <laughs> Faint knocking sounds behind him are from a ghost at the window begging to be let in. This relic is keeping them away. It's a stick with thorns which, in South Korean culture, is said to keep the spirits from entering when placed above the entrance. <laughs> Every time he tries to go outside and catch a ghost on tape, his motion tracking software keeps freezing, a sign that they are near. The spirits are waiting for him to remove the relic and let them back inside where they belong. He removes the stick and waits. They walk in through the front door. and he feels a rising horror as one passes through him. Oh, you're so you're so but unfortunately, his paranormal equipment continues to shut off just before the ghost sighting is caught on tape. Finally, when he gets it back on, a ghost appears in the dark hallway. There is nothing on the screen to mistake for a person, just total darkness, and yet the ghost hunting equipment identifies a mysterious shadow figure moving past. And when Tosachi returns to the window where he heard knocking noises before, he sees another full-fledged ghost figure in the window. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, it stands in the hall, apparently glad to be allowed inside again. It climbs up to sit in the window and, at 19 minutes and 29 seconds, appears to wave hello. Scary, right? While using the Randonautica app, Sunny Deeds and CJ Faison were driven into one of the most haunted forests in America. Even before setting out on their journey, they hear something in the woods. Sunny, I I'm not kidding you, we had a like 20 mile drive going there. They quickly head out and arrive at their destination. Alright, so I don't. What, uh. So there's a pair of, supposed to be something here associated with, what is it? Mysterious, Mysterious information. Again, something is nearby. Conspiracy, um, on what actually, you know, is believed to have. The f was that? Is it stalking them? It sure seems like it. Soon, they find a note on the ground. Uh. 
and it says, Let's see if they are. What are the f***ing odds of that? And moments later... Their fun soon turns to terror. Whoa, what what the, the f was that? Dude, that was a bat. Was it a bat? It literally just paused right by your guy's head. I hope Damn. the camera caught that. Although the latest mystery may be solved, I'm still wondering if Sonny and CJ have a stalker who remains unseen. This old dormitory has a story to tell. According to the channel Zero One Supernatural Studio, who published this video in February of 2022, this dormitory was left behind by a foreign company. After an incident happened in this place, what type of incident though? Well, he doesn't go into detail, but considering the company left this place abandoned, it must not be a good one. Using thermo technology along with an EMF meter, the ghost hunter quickly detects some energy here. As he's exploring the place, he's ascending the stairs when his EMF meter again detects an energy field. His thermo technology spies what looks like a figure in the corner. Later, while he's standing still, he hears a faint noise coming from somewhere within the house. Who is there with him? Maybe this dorm hasn't been abandoned after all. This house guest is Eternal. Published by Jojo Owens in February of 2022, Jojo explains that he, his wife, and several guests in his home had witnessed a shadow-like movement in the living room out of the corner of their eyes. That's why when Owens heard a noise in the back room one night while his wife was sleeping, he set up his phone camera to record. This is what he captured. A tall, shadowy figure is seen moving across the lit doorway at the end of the room. After witnessing this, Owens grabbed his phone camera to investigate, but turned up nothing. Neither was there anything in the room that might cast this shadow. Although one commenter suggested that there may be someone squatting in the Owens' home, Owens said this has been going on for three years, so it's highly unlikely. To whom does this shadow belong then? Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair, or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. Warning, if you buy this flat, you'll have an unwanted roommate. Published by Seeker of Ghosts in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator is trying to communicate with the passed on through a spirit box when this happens. <laughs> The spirit then sends him a clear message, but he doesn't listen. So the poltergeist tries to warn him further. The lights continue to flicker as the spirit box goes haywire. Then he asks what the spirit's name is to no avail. Rather than answer, the spirit gets angrier. He apparently doesn't like anyone prying into his personal life. He even comes to visit. Did this paranormal investigator overstay his welcome? It seems he was never welcome here at all. 
Jack Cook's son Michael has been acting strange for days, not like himself at all. He is normally a happy child, but he is visibly agitated during his birthday and seems to channel all of his anger into a single act of defiance when it comes time to blow out the candles. Day to you. Michael, make a wish. Cheer up, big guy. Cheer up. His father can't believe what he just witnessed and orders his son to do it again. Sure enough, Michael somehow is controlling the flames with his mind. <sighs> the obvious answer is somebody is blowing out the candles off camera, but I don't hear anything. Watch the father's explanation and tell me if you think his emotions are real or simply good acting skills. It's been a week now since Michael went into the hospital. and. <laughs> Doctors don't know what's wrong with them. When demons speak, you listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal. The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. See, it's a roach party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror leering behind him. Then they experienced some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor as the man kept blacking out only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor jazzed out writes, That sounds like a malevolent spirit to me, and not a demon. And to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak, because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. This quick clip, a group of kids are playing soccer when a strange and mysterious creature decides to crash their game. Watch closely as a black object approaches them from the right. The poor quality of this video makes it hard to tell exactly what this creature is. It's very small and the way it shuffles side to side does not look natural at all. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to make out a face or even any limbs. It could be a wild animal, but the way that the children and even the dog all run away in absolute horror has many people convinced that this creature could be paranormal or even extraterrestrial. Even when you slow down the video and zoom in on the creature, it's hard to tell what it could be. I personally have no idea what it is, and I definitely like to read your best guess in the comments below. A TikTok user named Look Dijans for You is obsessed with summoning spirits, and this time it really might have worked. He says something in the mirror, and then this wide eyed fiend appears right behind him, only to vanish when he turns around. <laughs> At first, it looks like it might have been somebody standing on the other side of the mirror, but when the light hits them, you can tell they are both in the same room. Later, he is looking down a hall through a hole in the door, where the knob once was. I want you to remember the unique shape of this water pattern, because it is going to be important later. Okay, so he is looking down the hall. <laughs> A second look through the hole reveals nothing, and when he turns around, he is shocked to find he is in the exact same hall he was just looking down. Water pattern and all, it's like he teleported. A family watches television while one of them checks their phone in the dining room. No one is near the refrigerator and yet somehow this happens.
on a different day, their motion-activated camera, which this family says does not turn on for dust, records this strange light for just a second, and then nothing else for the rest of the night. Everything starts to become clear when this larger light floats into the driver's seat and then disappears. The family's grandmother passed away two years ago, and this is what she used to drive. All three videos, when combined with the recent passing, makes me think that their grandmother might be checking in on them, even from the afterlife. It's a full moon and a YouTuber who goes by the name of Al Capone is in the most hectic cemetery I have ever seen. He can't even explain what he's been through without getting interrupted. Okay, things moving behind tombstones while I was driving it. Then listen to this at 4 minutes and 52 seconds. No, behind me. Oh, you heard the, behind you? I heard it. No, I heard what was by you, but I'm saying by the cars like... Al is talking when another man's voice speaks at the same time. What they hear a minute and a half later leaves their mouths hanging open. <laughs> I mean, this could be neighbors from some of the nearby houses, except there's really no reason for anybody to be shouting near the cemetery in the middle of the night. Plus, the direction these voices are coming from is deeper in the cemetery, away from the houses and closer to the woods. And since this video was made in the middle of January 2020, I doubt anyone was out there camping. This strange sky sighting was caught on camera flying over Bavaria, Germany in broad daylight. I noticed some weird things about the audio, but first, try and translate this mysterious conversation from German to English if you can. I know that nine means no, but I don't understand what was being asked. Anyway, aside from that, listen again to the weird noise that the object itself makes. I guess it kind of looks like it could be a jet plane, but the wings are too big and it really doesn't sound like one. Tell me if you think this was an experimental aircraft caught on tape or a strange sky sighting of something from another solar system. This is not a drone caught on video, but at the same time, I'm curious as to what this actually is. Mackie and Amanda are about to enter the most haunted place in Orange County. While exploring the house, they hear strange noises. One of their paranormal devices goes off and at the same time, they hear something in the distance. So if anyone's coming... While they're searching in the bathroom, this happens. Did someone just make a noise in here? What is that? What is that? No, I can hear it behind me though. It almost sounds like... I don't even know. A whisper is heard. I was always gonna say if any spirits are up here with... Whisper, did it not? Yeah, it sounded like something. And then footsteps. What? There's like so many noises and stuff happening, and you just got it. <gasps> something just touched the bear. What is happening? The bear continues to be paranormally activated. Yeah, maybe we should move the music box down to closer to her room so that it can catch up. <gasps> it picked up. And then they notice something. What the? What music? What music do you like? Just like an ambulance. Like the doctor? Like yes. Like yes. Is this one of the doctor's unfortunate patients? I think it might be. And I think they passed away with unfinished business. A garbage man in New York City leaked to this video online to show us a scary side of the industry that we were never meant to see. 
He needs to pull this dumpster down an alley to the garbage truck. Most of us would walk right up and grab the handle, but the veteran worker does something important first. He kicks the dumpster and waits. That's because out here you can get surrounded by a mob of rats. If you walk up to their territory without giving them a heads up, kicking makes them scatter away. Come on, bro. Come on. Get your stuff together and get out of here. Get all your boys. Get all your boys. Let's go. Yeah. This dumpster must not have much food in it because only a few run away, instead of dozens like normal. Now comes the hard part. Now we're going to attempt to move the can. He gives a sharp tug and lets go. When nothing confronts him, he proceeds. He gets halfway down the alley when something creepy decides to make his day twice as difficult. Still. 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 Come on, bro. You gotta go. Can't go back in there. This one is smaller than the rest, but it's stuck around longer than the others and seems twice as territorial. It starts to run away and then it gets another idea. I'm not sure if he fell over or dropped the camera, but the rat, scared and caught up in the moment, jumps straight at him. It looks like an aggressive move rather than just trying to get away. That rat did not want to give up its dumpster. This is why garbage men are paid more than teachers, jokes the top comment of this video. I'm not sure if this statement is true, but after seeing this video, do you agree with it or not? And if this is how crazy just one rat acts, imagine how scary it would be to get chased down an alleyway by a whole swarm of them. Talk about a tough and thankless job. This scary doorbell video is from the Chills Narrator subreddit, and it was posted by Tay Harley Quinn. They say their camera has never acted weird before, but for some reason this mysterious shadow figure, transparent and paranormal, is traveling at a high rate of speed behind a truck at random. Some people say this is a person on a bike, while others say it's somebody running, but most agree that this video is paranormal from the looks of it. A small number of people say that this is a glitch, but fail to go into much explanation, even though I would like to hear more. Until then, I think this could be a real ghost sighting caught on home security camera. A kid is reading something off a website when his friend says something that makes him pause. Tell me what is being said here if you can. <laughs> A wild face at the window sends him sprawling backwards in his chair with fright. There's no playing that scream off. He was seriously afraid for his life. He must not have seen the camera hidden in his friend's lap, and he never expected one of his other friends to jump at him from the window with a crazy look in his eye. But at least he saves a little bit of face by regaining his composure quickly and laughing along with them. Still, nevertheless, having someone peeking through your bedroom window is certainly a nightmare. A creepy dash cam video from Saudi Arabia shows a woman sitting in the middle of a busy highway. She seems to be stuck in a trance as she stares straight ahead, taking a high beam to the face without looking down or covering her eyes. It's unclear how long she has been here for, or for how much longer she intends to stay. Meanwhile, the driver seems to be having a conversation with a young passenger. They don't speak much, but tell me what is being said here during this short exchange, if you can. Just when it seems like they are about to pull around her, the mysterious figure speaks in a shrill voice.
Two people approach her in uniform, probably police, and she waves them off. I imagine that they are telling her this is unsafe, but apparently she doesn't want any of their help and seems perfectly content screaming in the street. I have no idea what information could be so important that she feels the need to do this. Some people are saying this is a witch sighting and that she is foretelling a future of some kind. Something possibly of terrible proportions that you and I definitely don't want to come true. No matter what the situation is, I really hope she gets the help she so clearly needs. This video is simply called Path of the Banshee. A man is walking all by himself down a bleak path with rows of trees reaching out for him from both sides. He spots something in the distance and freezes. Some people claim that the scream is fake and edited in. Even so, plenty of people say that they can see a figure in white robes in the distance. Do you see anything like that when he zooms in? Also, if you can identify if that scream is from a video game or a movie or something, then please let me know. Maybe together we can prove if this video is fake or real once and for all. In this creepy video, Ghost hunter Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this spooky abandoned building. As they approach, one of the crew sees something, but what they find is not meant to be found. Opa! Tem alguém aí? Ó, tem gente aqui, irmão. Calma, calma, calma. Despite the freaky scene they enter, and they soon regret it. After being bombarded by the bat, the team later hears a noise in the abandoned home. They look around to find its source. Of course, they flee, but the mystery of the figure draws them back in. Oh. Why you play, go? Eu falei, que que eu me rasguei, irmão? Que o prego aqui, ó. Tá doendo meu braço, velho. But the hooded figure has now disappeared. It appears to me as though the crew walked straight into a ritual of some kind. But what type of ritual is the million dollar question? This scary ritual is about to go very wrong. Near Shadow shows us why we should never play with the devil. First, he must submit a drop of vital fluid. It says a single drop. Right where your name goes. You could probably just dab it on the paper. Too. No, it has to drip. Then he must knock on a door 21 times. 20, 21. Okay. Is that gonna be midnight in 30 seconds? Um, yep, I'm watching the. They start to hear some things bubbling up. It sounds like. Wow, I got cold chills. It sounds like wind, but like echoing wind, like. Yeah. And the furnace isn't on, there's no, no heat on. And it continues. We can only guess what 70 means. While communicating with the spirits, they continue hearing a noise coming from the door, and then it moves. What did it just say? Oh, orange. I mean, orange? I have an orange candle. Oh. And then it really moves. Making a noise. Holy sh! Damn. Babe, oh my the door just opened. Oh my There's no way. And then it's clearly being moved by something. 
There's just such a ringing. Babe, I'm not even playing. To me, the first couple movements look like they could have been from a draft. That last one, though, that one sold me. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Havoc Nova, this Redditor wrote, Walked into my office to start my work day and found this, and I can see exactly what he's talking about. Something is up with that cool Scarface poster. It's like an invisible hand is rocking the poster back and forth. Even when the Redditor tries to steady the poster, it continues to move. While some people like myself are first jumping to this office being haunted, not everyone is convinced. Laundry Ghosty wrote in the comments, You need insulation in your walls. There's a small hole allowing a breezeway from the exterior wall to form. This phenomenon happened in our current house. It turned out it's because the insulation that was blown into the walls 30 years ago needed repairs and replacing. So what do you think? Is this office actually haunted? Or are these walls just in need of some more insulation? Who's doing this? This ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it. No one's around it. And it's actually walking down the driveway. That's the reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder on its own. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps, but nobody is near. If you have any possible explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, then this is one of the most perplexing videos I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. A YouTuber named Jordan Bu is about to get some food with his brother Jeremy and some friends when he sees a tiny lizard hanging out by the pool. He doesn't want to hurt the little guy so he takes it outside and goes to set it free, but it winds up taking a wrong turn. Go get him. Get him, bud. Oh, he's in your hair! No! <laughs> oh, he's on your head! Stop. He's, he's nuts. Jordan's friend goes for the close-up, but accidentally scares it towards the safety of his hair. Only its tail is sticking out and then it's fully gone. They give it some time and let it resurface. It may have changed to the same color as his hair, and you can barely see it at this point. Finally, they scoop it out and set it free, but the lizard almost doubles back for another round and jumps on one of their shoes. Fortunately, it is not a repeat performance, and they are able to shoo it away. A TikToker named Melody Zaragoza1121 has an experience she will never forget on a flight as she later describes simply as being not fun. All of the monitors go haywire and flash on and off in strange patterns, bathing the cabin in a green alien-like glow. At one point, they all turn on at once, almost as if there is some sort of deeper communication efforts at play. But without any further evidence, I would just as soon attribute this experience to faulty wiring, which, now that I think about it, is probably one of the few instances where a ghost could be arguably preferable. If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Christina7658, the Redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor after a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy who apparently wasn't really there. The bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist-like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typer Active Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all-too-common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame. As one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. 
She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? Mega Skelly 11 is a YouTuber who has been experiencing all sorts of strange paranormal activity throughout their home. Sometimes it's something simple like a potted plant wobbling on its own, and sometimes it's much more malevolent. Mega Skelly 11 claims that this is a poltergeist, and after reviewing this video, I have to agree. There's just too much going on at once to easily fake this in my opinion, and I see no indication that this is a setup. Let me know if you believe this is real, or if you have a better explanation. There seems to be many surprises for new renters or homeowners in these clips. YouTuber Dempsey7 also recently moved into this apartment. He said he rented the place without viewing it because it looked nice and the rent was low, but when he got there, he realized why it was so cheap. There are really high ceilings like a 19th century monastery in the middle of England, he said. He then takes viewers on a tour through the apartment. There are mirrors all over. All of this is nothing compared to what he found just outside the bathroom. Carved into the floorboards, you can clearly see a hatch in the floor, kitted out with a handle. Dempsey7 says he figured it was a bit of underground storage. He lifts the lid up and it does appear to be a storage space, that is until you look beyond the surface and see that the space expands below pretty deeply. Dempsey7 guides viewers down stone stairs that lead into what he calls a dungeon. There is a corridor heading off ahead, lots of stones and discarded brick and wiring. There is a room to the right, directly below Dempsey7's apartment. On the wall is graffiti that reads, CCFC OK, judging from the flooring. Dempsey7 believes it used to be a burial ground. He heads down the corridor. Most of the dungeon is piled with rubbish, dirt and old brick. He finds a newspaper dating back to 1984. He finds what looks like an old front door. Did someone used to live here? Or perhaps the house was built over an older existing foundation? Whatever the case, a dungeon is one secret room I wouldn't want to find in my new home. An urban exploration channel called JJ Retro is exploring an abandoned house on the edge of an English village late at night. You can tell he's nervous just standing at the entrance of this creepy estate. It's time to come exploring somewhere like this because we're in the middle of nowhere um, on the outskirts of Slinfold at this rather creepy house and uh, there's a sort of haunted feel to it. Outside, they find a spooky tree with a rope slung over the branch and a plank of wood to step off of. I don't think we need to spend much time explaining what kind of scary events happened here. And when they start exploring the inside, every room fills them with a renewed sense of dread. Yeah, this, this is creepy. This is probably the creepiest building we've done so far in our urban exploring career. Ooh. They try to joke their way out of how scary this urban exploration is, but eventually they have to admit they are getting spooked by something paranormal in the house with them. Weird noises are coming from upstairs, or so they say, but to be honest, I don't hear anything. Okay, what the f that noise? It's quite far upstairs. But as they slowly creep up the stairs, I can actually hear the weird sound, and that's when they get it. The creepy encounter caught on camera that they were all looking for. Hello? And that's when, with all of them on the steps, mind you, the urban explorers see a rocking chair moving on its own. Come on. <laughs> and that was the haunted house here in Slinfold and we're 
Since part of the chair is hidden by the doorway, maybe somebody was off camera making the chair move. Otherwise, this place is definitely haunted. A YouTuber and his friend are riding a motorcycle throughout the Indian town of Uti when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said. It must have really upset the other person because after driving in a straight line for about another minute, this happens. <laughs> They come across the same person as before, yet this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot faster than what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit and it looks like they actually get off their bike to flee. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real because there's no added music or sound effects, just raw footage. If anyone is from the town of Uti or lives nearby, let me know if these sightings are common in the area. Or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. Not everybody in India is a believer of the spirit world. Varun Kati seeks to dispel the legends behind the most haunted places in his home country. One such debunking video of him exploring some spooky abandoned buildings in the woods left him scared but still somewhat skeptical. He goes exploring the abandoned buildings one by one, whistling and taunting for any spirits to make themselves known. Less than 30 seconds later, he gets a reminder as to why provoking the paranormal is a recipe for scary things in the woods caught on camera. A loud moan rings across the treetops, a scary noise from the woods that even Varun has to admit is strange enough to give pause. He gets a really bad feeling that says it wasn't paranormal, just afraid of a wild animal or something, and he gets out of there quickly. I think this brave explorer might be unwilling to admit that he just caught strange and scary evidence of paranormal EVPs caught on tape. He says this could be a monkey, but let me know if you agree. Here's another listen. It sounds like a ghost haunting the woods to me. Either way, ghost or animal, both possibilities sound terrifying. Mythical creatures are said to rule these forests. Did this cameraman catch one of them? Or did he almost get caught? Published by SEOOSST in June of 2021, the footage shows the cameraman making his way through some brambles and overgrowth in the woods. As the camera pulls up alongside a large pile of them, a mysterious dogman-like face appears over top of the pile. The hairy brown face doesn't look human, nor does it look quite animal. Its eyes glow as it moves jarringly out of view when the camera lands on it, making a gruff growling noise. Some in the comments are calling this mysterious beast a cryptid. What do you think it is? I just know I'll be staying out of that forest. Morgan Adams is a popular YouTuber who doesn't ordinarily focus on paranormal content at all. So when she recently suspected that her house was haunted, you know I had to take a look. Let's go over the evidence and see if her suspicions are correct. She claims to hear tapping and scratching on the walls, which could be an animal, but then there's whispers too. When this happens, she uses Snapchat and almost always detects a second face nearby. She has named the spirit Angie and it seems to have become quite attached. Angie often responds to her own name. Angie. Oh my god. Angie, you have a lot of new friends that would like to say hi. Oh my god. 
though Snapchat could be mistaking the shelf behind her for a winking face and these two objects on the wall for eyes. Angie typically lurks around the corner of the house reserved for overnight visitors, coincidentally the same area where her dog Ollie absolutely refuses to go. Even with the promise of a treat, Ollie will only allow himself to go so far before he refuses to budge. Some dogs have trouble keeping their balance on hardwood floors and can actually develop a fear of them over time. I thought that could be Ollie's deal because he puts one paw on the wood and stops at 9 minutes and 8 seconds, but at 8 minutes and 52 seconds he has no problem walking on the same type of floor, so that can't be why. I think Morgan Adams could be giving a verbal command for Ollie to sit when she says okay at 9 minutes and 8 seconds. You tell me if Ollie is doing a trick or if he senses something and is too nervous to go forward. <gasps> come on, okay, come on. I don't think it's fake because then she tells him to come on and he still won't move. And when Morgan gets to the end of the hall, she hears a noise and shudders. <sighs> Plus, Ollie isn't the only animal acting weird. Her cat will freeze at the door like someone is on the other side, and Morgan even hears knocking sometimes. Cut it out right now. Stop! There's never anything there, and yet the cat stares at the wall as if something has its attention. I'm gonna freak out if you don't stop. So, oh my, oh my, there's orbs, literally. An orb of light also flies in the direction that her cat is staring. Odd indeed. Oh, and there's also this strange Snapchat photo taken in the middle of the night. It could be something photoshopped, but I see something more to it. To the left of the shadow person, I see a face on the wall and another peeking out from behind the covers. It almost looks like the exact same from a photo taken at the mountain pass where Angie the spirit first followed Morgan home. And if you're wondering where Angie is in the photo, check out Morgan's shoulder. The dark hair is not hers. Finally, one night her dad lets it slip that the property was built near an old burial ground. Tell me if you think he is telling the truth here or not. Do you think our house is haunted? Nope. The way he pauses and looks away makes me think he could have been trying to avoid saying anything that could make his daughter worry any more than she already has been. So is all of this real or fake? I'm 50-50 on this one, so your opinions will help me decide. A remote controlled robot is inspecting a 42 inch sewer pipe for anything out of the ordinary when it comes across a creepy find that will make your skin crawl. The water looks relatively clear at first, but then the camera operator looks down in time to see a wriggling mass of giant worm like creatures the size of snakes. They are piled up so high that they almost breach the surface. I have no idea idea what these are, nor do I have any idea what so many are doing down here. Someone please help me identify what these creatures are, and while you're at it, let me know what the odds are of one climbing through the sewer pipes and into my home. Uber named Jonathan senses something outside of his home and begins recording. He doesn't make it very far before he finds the source of his unease staring directly back at him. Okay, guys. So A small set of beady eyes in the darkness sends Jonathan running back into his home. I was positive it was just a cat until I noticed there are other eyes in the video too, like when he turns around here. Maybe Jonathan does have an overactive imagination and was frightened by a neighborhood cat. Or maybe he really is being watched in his own yard by an unseen network of nightmarish creatures. Rian Silver is a paranormal explorer who searches every abandoned house that he can find in the hopes that it's haunted by a djinn for him to catch on camera. Most of his videos have absolutely nothing paranormal in them, seemingly an abandoned house with nothing in it, just 20 minutes of creeping around empty room after room. But one of his scariest videos of all is paranormal beyond belief and has left him seriously creeped out ever since. He calls it the real horror house. Here's why. A strange sensation leaves him shaking before he's even cleared the main floor. The real horror house is different from any place he's ever been before. It feels truly haunted. Hello, hello, hello. 
At two minutes and eight seconds, a pair of glowing eyes stares at them from the window. It's not a cat. Nine seconds later, this creature with glowing eyes is seen outside the doorway. As they are leaving the room, a faint groan is heard behind them. As they reach the top of the stairs, they see another shadow figure that dips into the doorway upon their approach. They pursue and the weirdness follows close behind. A sudden chill gives Riyan raised goosebumps. He's showing them to the camera when all of the sudden. Bone chilling laughter now fills the abandoned house. I was thinking maybe it's people playing outside, but who would be playing in the middle of the night by an abandoned house? I think it's coming from inside and very close by. <laughs> Things get even more creepy when they reach the basement. Down here is where they find a single square opening to a secret hidden holding room with no way out. It looks like somebody might have been kept in this secret room for a long time. Riyan doesn't dare climb in, but who knows what they would have discovered if he did. Could something in this creepy room also be the source of whatever's haunting this abandoned building? When they record inside, this freaky EVP is what's caught on camera. <laughs> A tiny voice screams up at them from within, very faint but unmistakable when you hear it. Is this the final resting place of someone who fell in and can't get out? I think that might be the case. A YouTuber named Spider Reed doesn't really believe in Bloody Mary and decides to take the mirror challenge at 3 a.m. He spins around three times while saying her name. Immediately afterwards, he gets a very distant look and goes down. Spider Reed doesn't move from the ground for over one full minute. When he finally gets to his feet again, he hardly looks the same as before. He slowly turns around and leaves the room in a dreamlike state, with his eyes still closed. If this is a true possession, then exactly how long he stayed possessed for, or what happened next is unclear. There's no trickery to this one, nothing paranormal, but we guarantee it will make some of you very scared. Posted to TikTok by Madison Bergia, the spider reunion on this ceiling is sure to send everyone out the door, leaving their shadow behind them. Madison captured this enormous mama spider and all her little spider babies just chilling outside, down right above her. Most commenters say they're moving to Mars, while LeRae Fanpage writes that his anxiety went through the roof watching this. We're with you, Larry. If you haven't panicked yet, now's the time. Just kidding. A YouTuber named Stromedy takes a drone above a gigantic field and finds three people in long black robes gathered around a small object on the floor, possibly a book or an offering of some kind. Here you can see the square object again, though it's now grey for some reason instead of black like before. They throw it to the ground and begin to circle around it in what could be a second phase of the ritual, probably chanting the whole while too, I would imagine. And I don't know if this is a reflection of the sun or what. But at 13 minutes and 7 seconds, this eerie red light washes over them all. Stromany loses control over the drone as soon as it is spotted by them. Now you can see they are all wearing white masks. One of the members, the only one with a hood over his head, and possibly the leader reaches up. The drone obediently flies closer, despite Stromedy holding the opposite direction on the controls. The leader releases control of the drone and hastily picks up the square object. 
Then they retreat to three corners and form a mysterious triangle, backs turned. Should anyone recognize this ritual, please let me know what it all means because it's got me freaking out. Two fishermen cast their reels into the Gulf of Mexico without a care in the world. 20 minutes later, they only have one care in the world, getting out alive. <laughs> The pair finds themselves caught in the middle of a giant storm system gathering overhead. Going backwards means traveling in the same direction as the storm, so the only thing left to do is charge deeper into the storm and hope to come out the other side in one piece. The storm hasn't even begun yet, and you can see the waves are almost coming into the boat already. They need to hurry if they ever want to see dry land again. The storm gets worse and worse until they can barely tell the sky apart from the sea. Everything is just a big swirling mass of grey with absolutely no visibility, except for the occasional crack of lightning to illuminate their path for a few precious seconds at a time. If things get any worse, their tiny boat will surely capsize under the crushing waves. Finally, after an hour of riding, they emerge from the traveling storm and return to blue skies. You can tell that they are truly safe because they can stand fully upright again. A normal investigator named Exist wants to see if ghosts exist in an abandoned funeral parlor in South Korea. In this stairwell is where they record the strongest evidence of paranormal activity. <laughs> Something is at the bottom of these steps, according to their readouts. Snapchat finds activity in the corner. It looks like a ghost in a white dress with her back turned, long black hair. They don't dare go down there and confront her. Instead, they sum up a music box that is hand cranked at the top of the steps and see if she will come to them. I'm not sure if a ghost is really doing this or if they were in control. If someone has more information about the paranormal equipment they're using here, then let me know if this part is real or if they have a secret way to control it. So much energy surrounds them that the music box never stops playing. They have to manually turn it off, satisfied that this experiment was a success. Next, he records his Snapchat filter to see if any faces are caught coming up the stairs. Instead, he gets something even scarier. Something walks right by them, opens the door and holds it open for them. They respect the spirit's wishes and politely leave. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.